The United Nations has said more than 5 million Ukrainians have now fled the country following the Russian invasion. This is Europe's fastest growing refugee crisis since World War II. After nearly two months of being under siege, Mariupol in Ukraine could fall into Russian hands within hours, as per a Ukrainian official. As the two sides agreed on a humanitarian corridor to allow civilians to flee the port city. A UK court has issued a formal order to extradite WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange to the United States to face trial. The decision now rests with UK Interior Minister, but Assange can still appeal. Peru inflation protests have now gripped the country's tourist capital of Cusco, where thousands have taken to the streets to protest against rising prices, driven by the highest inflation in 26 years. India's capital has brought back mask mandates as it witnesses a surge in COVID-19 infections and positivity rate. Yemen's internationally recognized presidential council was sworn in the southern port city of Aden. The swearing-in took place before the parliament in a ceremony attended by foreign ambassadors, along with US and United Nations envoys to Yemen. Iraq was hit by its third heavy dust storm in two weeks, temporarily grounding flights at Baghdad and Najaf airports, as the weather phenomenon grows increasingly frequent. Mandatory evacuations have been ordered for Arizona residents near Mount Union, about 10 miles south of Prescott, as wildfires spread across the region. Wimbledon have issued a blanket ban on Russian and Belarusian players from this year's tournament, which will prevent Russia's men's world number two Daniil Medvedev and women's world number four Arena Sabalenka of Belarus from participating in this year's grass court Grand Slam. Liverpool beat Manchester United 4-0 at Anfield to go top of the English Premier League. Luis Diaz and Sadio Mane were on target while Mohamed Salah grabbed a brace. The Reds are two points clear of champions Manchester City, who can regain top spot tonight. <laughs>